Hi, Jonathan Pickup. Today we're going to look at importing an existing plane. I've got a PDF I'm going to import. We're going to make sure we scale it to the, exactly the right size. I'm going to draw the walls really quickly and then I'm going to put the windows and doors in quickly again and this time I'm going to ensure that the windows and doors are exactly the right size. I've got a really cool trick to show you. Let's get going. I've got a PDF file ready to import. It's this one here. I drag that in. Now I know which file I want. I want page 4. So just page 4. Bring it in. Now if someone's edited this file for you, you need to turn on the annotations if they've drawn notes on it. If you don't, you won't see all their notes. Let's import that. So there it is. Looks like it's fantastic, but the first thing we need to do is to make sure that this is exactly the right size. Now I only want the floor plan. So I'm going to go right click, edit my crop and just draw a rectangle for the area I want to keep which is basically that area there. I just need those dimensions. And you can see what it does, it gets rid of all the information I don't need. Now it's time to calibrate what I've got here. So I've got a dimension down here which is in metric. I happen to be in feet and inches. So let's calibrate this. So modify, scale objects. We've got a selected object. Do not, do not scale the entire drawing. Let's scale the text. Let's measure it. So I've turned on snap to geometry, that's this one up here, so that's working cool. So let's go click there and down to there and this should be 4800 millimeters. Enter and you can see it changed its size. So we now know that this object is exactly the right size and I'm just going to move that into the middle. I'm not going to back this up so let's just say okay to that. So there we are, we've got our project. Now I need to know the thickness of these walls. A quick trick that I always use is the G key and then down to here, what's the distance? That's three and a half, it's actually 90 millimeters, but about three and a half inches. So let's get our wall tool. Now I'm going to use keyboard shortcuts a little bit. I use hotkeys all the time. The number nine is the wall tool. I'm using it here in the straight line mode. Let's just change this and it was 90 millimeters Okay, and now I can draw my walls. Now I can either draw all the way around each wall, which works really well if you're not sure that your building is perfectly square. If you know your building's perfectly square, you can use this mode, which is really quick. So now I've got this information. So I'm actually going to move all of my walls to a different layer. Put them all in the walls layer. Let's activate the walls layer. And I can't see anything else, so I'm going to make it show snap others. And I'm going to gray the other layer, which means that you can see what happens, I can't see anything. So I just make it like that. Now the B key is really handy here because when you hit the B key, you can actually see through the PDF and you can actually see the things behind. So let's put in a window. So I've got the walls correct now. Let's put in a window. I'm gonna grab my window tool, click on the wall, click again. And I should really measure the size of that window. But do I have to? Because if I move my cursor right onto this blue handle here and I click and I drag that along, hold down the B key, I can actually just drag the window to the right width. There it is there. And that gives me the correct width for my window. Now the height, I need the information for the height and it's not actually on this PDF, uh, but I'm not gonna worry about that at the moment. So hold down the B key, where's the next window? Oh, there's only one over here, which is a door. So let's do the same with the door. Grab the door tool. We'll just put in a door in. Make sure we get it the right flip. And now I can use that same trick again, which is the selection tool. Stretch that until it fits the right hole. And I find this is a really quick way for drawing an existing plan. And that's a really quick way to put in your doors and windows. Now I know there's only one window and one door, but this trick is really quick. And I've just used it recently on a project and it is really quick to put in all the windows. If you like this movie give me a thumbs up it really helps people to find my movies and also click on the subscribe button